My father was in the citrus industry, so I used to go with him to citrus farms and I knew I wanted to be involved in agriculture. For me, it was a bit boring just picking the fruit and putting it into a box and exporting it. I wanted to make something, you know, you can still talk about that vintage 20, 30 years down the line and still taste it for years to come. My name is Pierre Wall. I'm the cellar master at Survivor Wines. I uh, went to study viticulture and enology at uh, Elsenburg Agricultural College in 1993. Been winemaker since 1996. The last 20 years I was at Rijks in Tolbach and everybody thought I'm crazy to go to Tolbach because it was a really good white wines, great white wines, but it was easy drinking wines. And uh, I said, you know, I want to make a mark and I want to go somewhere that I can actually put down my signature. And after 20 years, I think I've done a good job at Rijks and it's time for a new challenge. So I started in January 2022 with Survivor Wines, where we make wine in all different areas, in Elgin, Swartan, Stellenbosch and Trado. We showcase the best of South Africa. In 2010, I was invited to be part of the Cape Winemakers Guild, to be able to taste all these international wines and also to be part of a wine auction. That just develops our palate. It gives us new ideas. You have to be innovative in the wine industry these days to get a following. I've only made Pinotage and Shannon mostly, and that's obviously my focus now at Survivor as well. To start off with the Pinotage, it will probably be from the Swartland, but also I wanted to expose different areas, like the Trado area, which I think is making some of the best wines in the world. The wines show a lot of new world fruit, but has a lot of old world on the palate. Also, I mean, I've been wanting to make Pinot Noir since the day I started. Pinot Noir was the first cultivar actually that I fell in love with when I was still a student in 1995. We toured Burgundy and I tasted a barrel out of a producer there and I was just blown away. Got goosebumps all over and the next time I got goosebumps was when I tasted Pinotage in Tolbach. I just knew this is my focus, this is what I want to do. People call me in the industry the Pope of Pinotage. I focus on it for the last 10, 15 years. I've always been wanting to make a wine with great power, but also elegance. And that's very difficult because it's two contrasting things. If you taste my Pinotages in the past, it's always powerful in the nose, but very elegant on the palate. That's very important for me. I want to make wine that you can drink a bottle and order a second. I love making wine from all these different areas. I believe the more different building blocks you have, the more complex wine you will be able to make. Even in the cellar, so all these different terroirs, you take different blocks in the terroirs and you vinify it separately, you age it separately in barrels, and then at the end of the day, you can build a puzzle and just create a masterpiece. 